Yo, what's good, my ups, my upsioners? Green Typhlosion here, and today we are doing a different video. Some of you know about the Poke Gods, whether it's through watching a video or actually living through the event. But today I'm gonna explain the truth behind the Poke Gods and reveal the real Poke Gods. So, let's get into the video. But if you close your eyes. So, first let's review what Poke Gods are. According to Bulbapedia, Poke Gods is a term we use to refer to a certain group of fake Pokemon whose Pokedex number were greater than 150 and were supposed to be obtainable in Generation 1. The Poke Gods were supposed to be these extremely powerful, well, godlike Pokemon. They were supposed to be invincible, impossible to defeat. But according to these websites, Back in the 90s, you had to do some absurd things in order to obtain them, which include going behind Bill's house because apparently it was a secret garden and catching 152 Pokemon, different Pokemon, even though there are only 151 species of attainable Pokemon in the Generation 1 games. But I'll give you a list of some of these Poke Gods just in case you are curious. Venusaur evolves into Sapasaur, Charizard evolves into Charcoal, Blastoise evolves into Rainer, Butterfree evolves into Locustud, Beedrill evolves into Beepin, Raticate evolves into Rataclaw, Needle King evolves into Needle God, Needle Queen evolves into Needle Goddess, Golduck evolves into Paraduck, Sand Slash evolves into Sand Swipes, Hypno evolves into Dream Master, Onyx evolves into Dimox, Gengar evolves into Spoopy, Flare evolves into Flareff, Eevee evolves into Lunarion, or it can evolve into Solarion. Omanite evolves into Omanus, Mew evolves into Corona Mew, and Mewtwo evolves into Mew3. So it's kind of interesting considering some Pokemon that were considered Poke Gods were real, and in a sense, these people kind of predicted the future of Pokemon. For example, Mew3 could be considered the Mega Mewtwo's. Onyx did get an evolution, and to further support this, isn't the things that Mega Steelix has around there, aren't those crystals or diamonds or something of that nature. Also, three candle starters did get evolutions in the form of Mega Evolutions. Umbreon is like Lunarion because they're both related to the moon, and Espeon is like Solarion because they are all related to the sun. Now, the last couple of things I said could be easily speculated, but now I'm gonna mention some real Pokemon who were actual Poke Gods. Meryl, back then, who was called Pika Blue, Mew, Togepi, Ampharos, Ho-Oh, Bellossom, and Snubble, but they were all called by their Japanese names. Now, before I wrap up, I just wanna think what other Pokemon could have been considered Poke Gods. Here are my five. Arceus, well, cause it's supposedly the god of the Pokemon universe. Mewtwo, cause it's kinda the original legendary. Mega Rayquaza, because that thing is a god in battle. Garantina, I guess you could kinda call it anti-god or whatever you wanna call it. And for the last one, I'll let you guys decide. Okay guys, that is the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, do all of that down below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.